Welcome to Coda Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're going to talk about one of the foundational building blocks of Coda, which is tables. Tables are comprised of rows and columns and are a great way to keep all of your structured data clean, clear, and easy to work with. So let's take a look. Here I am in my tasks page. I'm going to go ahead and just hide the side panel there so we can have a little bit more breathing room here. And if I want to add a table, all I need to do is type slash and choose table. Now I've got it right there. I can say, yes, give me that table. And I'm going to choose to add a new table right here. So maybe this could be our tasks table. And then notice we've got some rows to start us off and some columns as well. Now, maybe you don't want to start from scratch. Maybe you have a table that you know and love. And if that's the case, it's totally okay. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this new table. No, we're going to go back to the classics. I'm going to jump over here to my Google Sheet. I've got a little task tracker that my team and I have been using already. So what I can do is I can just copy paste. So let's take a look. I'm just going to select the area of this table that I want to bring over. That looks right. I'm on a Mac today, so I'm going to do Command C. But if you're on a PC, you'll do Control C. Exact same thing will happen. Then we can jump back over to our Coda doc. I'm going to do Command V or Control V again. And now I've got my handy little table already pasted in here. We can then name it. We're going to call it All Tasks. And I want to highlight just a couple things that are going on here. So what Coda has done is it's taken a look at the information I pasted in here, and it started to do some formatting based on what it noticed. So for example, in this team column, Coda noticed I had the exact same four values. So it automatically made it a select list. It did the same thing for my status. It noticed that the start and end areas looked like dates. So it automatically made those a date picker. And my urgent, this, if we jump back over to our Google Sheet, it was a true false statement. So what Coda did over here is it just made it into a checkbox. So now I've got my table, I can get started with it. But this is by no means the end. I can always make some changes, right? Maybe I want to click on this plus sign to add a new column. And I'm going to go ahead and say this one's going to be um, a slider. What's what we think the effort is going to be. And we can just go ahead and just move these around. So I've got this brand new column. I can also just scroll to the bottom and add some new rows just by clicking on new row or by pressing enter entirely up to me. And maybe I realize, you know what? I just don't like these columns. They're in the wrong order. Start and end should be next to each other. Well, what we can do is we can always just drag and drop our columns around, and we can do the same thing for our rows. So everything is flexible. Everything can change and adjust at the same pace that we want to move. So with that, take a look at your next Coda doc, add a table, mess with your table, have some fun, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>